SMD Law is the official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Check them out on the interwebs at smdalaw.com or at 866-529-3537. No matter where you are in the state of Michigan, Upper Peninsula, Lower Peninsula, it doesn't matter. They have an office near you. So whether you need to send a letter to an annoying neighbor or you're a criminal and you need defense, maybe you just have problems with elder law. Check them out, smdalaw.com today. The official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Call them first, then you act. It is great to be here at Old Redford Academy down in the D with the newest Spartan offer, Mark Rocket Watson. If you've ever watched this guy on film or play a basketball game, he looks like a rocket the way he moves, the way he operates. Rocket, thanks for having us. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I want to ask, because you, did you grow up a basketball fan? I mean, you loved it your whole life? Yes, sir. Yeah, I lived it my whole life. Okay, so you're there and you're talking to Tom Izzo, Hall of Fame coach. A hundred years from now, they may not remember me. Well, I know they won't remember me. They may not remember you. We don't know yet because you've got a long career ahead. But they're going to remember him. And when that guy says, Rocket, I want to offer you to come play for me in East Lansing, that's pretty special. What was that moment like? And it was very exciting. You know, I was at the mall that day, and we just got a big win. And when he called me, you know, it was, it was, I was real happy you know, to hear from him, and he told me that, I had a um, scholarship to go there, and it was, you know, I was very happy. For you, that moment, I mean, that's a fulfillment of a dream, even though you didn't necessarily grow up a Michigan State fan. But when schools say to a young man like you, we want to give you a free education to come play a game you love, does that really, was that special? Because you've worked so hard in the classroom, Rocket. Was that moment pretty special? Oh yeah, that moment was, yeah, it was it was real special when, when coach told me. And a lot of schools tell me that I got a um, scholarship to go there. It's real big. Awesome. From. I want to dig in a little bit on you the man, if you don't mind, because everyone who watches films like, all right, he's a player, this kid can play basketball. But you're about a lot more than that. You're extremely respectful, mm -hmm. you're a terrific kid, and you are a great student. In fact, you may even be a better student than you are a basketball player, and everyone knows how good a basketball player you are. Right. How much pride do you take? I mean, you are well-educated and smart and killing it in the classroom. Yeah, because, you know, you gotta, you got to do good in the classroom, you know, because to get on the next level to play um, basketball, you got to have good grades. You know, my coach, they on me every day. You know, that's what i got to do to, you know, see achieve my goal. Old Redford Academy is one of the best schools in the state. I mean, this is a terrific school, great, great school, great academics. So for you in getting to come here to be part of a school that says, listen, we're going to make, give you some of the best coaching in the state, but you're going to get some of the best teaching in the classroom, how blessed are you to go to Old Redford Academy? Yeah, I'm blessed up, you know, I had an opportunity to go here. That's awesome. What's your favorite subject in school? What do you enjoy um, studying the most? I could say math. Ugh, proving you're a genius and why I'm the journalist and you're going to be the genius, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I want to dig in on your game a little bit. Now, obviously, you're not the same. You're different. Gary Harris and Denzel Valentine are both two different kinds of players, yeah. but they both played. You're like a hybrid between them. You can right. shoot. You can distribute. When you look at the last two players, like you, it's Denzel and Gary, and they're both in the league. So when you look at how Michigan State's been able to develop players like you, is that intriguing to you? Um, I really can't say. You know, I, I watch... Um, Drew played a couple times. I mean, Valentine played a couple times. Yeah. And, um, he, I really can't compare his game to mine. You know, he played a different position. I square a lot. He square a lot. But I really can't really say. Okay. Would you rather hit the big three? Oh yeah, of course. Or get the big assist? Um, I say get the big assist. See, that's why. That's that's what I mean. That's where you're like Gary and Denzel. It's about yeah. teammates with you, isn't it? Right. I want to. Uh, one of the things that sticks out with me, and I don't think a lot of people know this about you, Rocket. Mm -hmm. Because they look at the stats, and there's a lot of points, and there's a lot of assists. You are extremely unselfish. Yes. That comes back to me, good coaching, am I right? Right, yeah, you're absolutely right. What does it mean to you to be a good teammate? Um, it means a lot to me. You know, everybody say that I'm just a scorer, and I want to score, so I had to prove everybody wrong. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, showing everybody I'm a good teammate, you know, pick my teammates up when they down, and, you know, get assists. That's really big key. One of the things that Tom Izzo always says, and it fits you to a T, that players that can't be coached 
can never be great because everybody needs somebody to push them. Right. And one of the things I really like about your coach, when I watch your coach coach you, he rides you, man, like a bicycle. And, and you take it, and you want it, and you don't make the same mistake twice. Right. Rocket, that tells me you come from one heck of a very good family, that you're coachable. Would you take a moment and brag on your family for us, please? Yeah, um, really. My dad, he played at Central High School. Mm -hmm. He was a big football player and alumni there. My mom, she, um, she went to Pontiac High. And I got three. I got three sisters and two brothers. My brother, um, he went to Central High School as well. He he hooped, but you know he he don't got no very. I mean he ain't really, you know, take it a long way as hooping. But you know he doing good and that's really about it. How'd you get the nickname Rocket? Cause I played for the Cubs in '10 and I was really quick and fast, and that's how I got the nickname. Have you ever lost a foot race? Um, to anything ever in your life? No, not really. I want to talk about Coach Cummington because he is a terrific coach. Mm -hmm. Demanding, he teaches, but you're blessed because there are a lot of um, basketball players who have great talent, and you do. God right. gave you talent, right. but don't have good coaching. Right. You have both, and one thing that's special is you have a great family, but you also have a great coach who loves and cares for you as well. Will you talk about your relationship with Coach Cummington? Um. My relationship with Coach Coven is very long, you know. He stays on me every day. He's a good coach, you know. He, he won't let me slip, you know, and he's he, he a great coach. Awesome. Rocket, let's talk about some of the other schools you're hearing from. What other schools have made you offers? Um, Georgia Tech, mm -hmm. Mississippi State, um, Marquette, um, Oakland, UAD. Um, that's about it. Have you visited any other schools? Um, no, sir. When was the last time you were on campus in East Lansing? Um, the last time. Last, like, I think the beginning of last month. Okay. And what do you think of the campus? Oh, it's real great, you know, especially great with the coaches. You know, I got a, I got a relationship with Coach Izzo, you know. He cool, and he, and he, and he seemed like a coach that'll stay on you. And that's what I like. And Tum Tum and all them, Cash, you know, I got a, I got a relationship with them. Do you know Cash money pretty well? Yeah, Cash, yeah. Yeah, I know Cash pretty well. Okay. I want to dig in on the staff. Tom Izzo. His credentials speak for itself, but on top of being a great coach, he is a terrific guy. Yeah. Will you talk about him, your personal thoughts, just what you think of him as a coach and as a man? Um, as a man, I think um, I had the utmost respect, and as a coach, I can say, you know, he's he a great coach, and, you know, he seemed like a coach that'll stay on you, and he won't let you slip, and he's going to push you to, you know, to your best ability. I want to give you a compliment, and if I'm wrong, I want you to correct me because I don't want to give bad information. Is that fair? Yes. You're a kind of kid that I don't. I think you do better in an environment where you're pushed yeah, right. than a place where they just let you freelance. Am I wrong? Right. No, no, no. You ain't wrong. You're Good. Right. All right, let's talk about uh, senior associate coach DJ Stevens. And I know you're not a big, and he works a lot with the bigs, right. but he's a terrific part of that staff. I mean, he's underrated. What are your thoughts on DJ? Um... I really don't know too much about him, but I know he a great coach as well, and you know from there. Good man too. How about now? I know that you like this guy, my buddy. I call him the Bishop mm -hmm. because he dresses like T.D. Jakes. Mike Garland, talk about the Bishop. Oh, coach. Yeah, that's that's the coach that's really cool with me. And you know, he seen me when I was playing with Reach, and he stopped me and said I can be great. And you know, on from there, you know, he been talking to me. I, I when I talk to coach, he'll put me on the phone with him, and you know. He always asked me about my grades, and he's a good man, too. Yeah, the thing that makes Coach Garland special is he treats every one of those players like they are his kids, man. Right. He loves them like it. So you think Coach Covington's bad. You think Coach Izzo's bad. Coach Garland's going to ride you, brother. Right. And then Dane Fife. I mean, this is a guy that, you know, is from Clarkson, so he's from southeast Michigan. Yes. Played at Indiana. He works a lot with the guards, too. Mm -hmm. And he's a very good coach, too. Your thoughts on Dane? Um, I really know too much about him, but I know he's a great man, too. Yeah, he is. Yeah. All right, so your mind frame, do you even have a, a time frame when you want to make a decision? Do you even? Um, no, sir. Not even in your? No, no, no. Okay. Lastly for you, there's a lot of times you've been on campus. You've been to Michigan State. Now, you've been there for games. Mm -hmm. You've been all over that place. Mm -hmm. Could you see yourself wearing the green and white, bringing the team down the court, taking the rain, some cash money one day? Yes. Yeah, I can. Good for you. Do you have an idea what you want to major in? Um, not yet, not yet. Not at all? Yeah, not Okay, yet. now i got another question. I did my research on you. You're going to know how much research I did. Mm -hmm. I asked somebody in your school. 
I said, what does Rocket, what's he do best and what's he do worst? Okay? And they said, the best thing he does is you'd never know he's a star basketball player. He's just one of the kids. All right. That tells me you're a good kid. Mm -hmm. I said, what does he do worst? You ready? Yeah. He thinks he can sing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rocket. Okay, you, 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 but then why do you, so they're telling me, like, oh yeah, he thinks he can sing, he can't sing. So you admit it? No, you admit it, you can't sing? No, I can't sing. Awesome. Rocket, I appreciate you having us down here. It's so gracious of you to share your time. Congratulations. I, you know, a lot of guys can play basketball, mm -hmm. but not all of them can kill it in the classroom right. and to be the special person that you are. That really yeah. talks a lot about you. God bless you, man. Thanks all for right. your time. All right, thanks. Appreciate you, Rocket. Okay.